Right, you lot, let's talk Aston Villa. And are we swapping John Duran for Conor Gallagher? That's right, you've seen the title and thumbnail. There's been reports this morning that Aston Villa hold quite a high interest in the Chelsea captain, Conor Gallagher, and John Duran could move in the other direction as part of a blockbuster swap deal. John Duran recently has been caught out. I mean, caught out. He's been liking a lot of Chelsea posts. He's probably a Chelsea fan, if I had to hazard a guess. And Conor Gallagher has been one of Chelsea's most impressive players this season, bar a, a certain cold Palmer. So could this swap deal work? We'll have a look at Gallagher, what he could bring to the team, and why on earth would we be letting John Duran go? Would we pay money extra, or would Chelsea? All of that stuff going to be discussed. If you are enjoying the content, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let's talk Villa. So first of all, we look at Conor Gallagher on the screen. As you can see, he mainly plays as an attacking midfielder, can play on the left, and also centrally and defensively in midfield. He is 23 years of age with a current market value of 50 million. This season in the Premier League, like I've said guys, he has been massively impressive. Captain in this young Chelsea side who have a chance to actually finish above Tottenham and finish fifth on the last day of the season. All 36 games, or well, yeah, I think he's missed one then, but he's played 36 games, started all of them over 3,000 minutes played, getting five goals, seven assists and an average rating of 7.5 um, and if we scroll down here and you look at his stats in terms of attacking output for centre mids fair enough it's not the best in the world but he's still got five goals this season off of an xg of only four um, and non-penalty xg as well right up there doesn't take penalties much like our main man ollie watkins in terms of assists he has got seven you think ollie watkins leads the way in the premier league with 13 conor gallagher is in the top 77th percentile successful passes he tops the charts even more than De Bruyne I know he's been injured but come on it's still an impressive stat uh, with 1,700 and a pass accuracy of a staggering 91.4% accurate long balls are sitting at 52 with a percentage of 66.7 you can see it's a sea of green and he's created 53 chances only getting seven assists so if he was feeding them into Ollie Watkins and not Nicholas Jackson how many assists would this guy have uh, he's also been tipped for an England shout uh, in the Euro squad as well, which is something to take into account. He has a 64.7% dribble success ratio, which puts him again right at the top of the Premier League charts for midfielders. Uh, 2,500 touches. And then defensively, a absolutely outstanding output. 51 tackles, one putting him right at the top of midfielders again. A 60% success ratio, 203 duels won. He's winning around 50% of his duels and aerial duels, considering he is about six foot one is fair enough he's very very physically uh, imposing on the pitch as well and um, his blocks are low but his interceptions again right at the top of the premier league charts fouls committed again right at the top he gets stuck in and only seven yellow cards and one red card isn't bad at all considering kamara has a red card i think louise has a red card doesn't he um 39 times he has one possession in the final third as well so there's no doubt in my mind conor gallagher is one of the most premier young players in the Premier League and to take the responsibility of captain in Chelsea this year is no short measure. Now we know that Chelsea, a little bit like Villa, are probably going to be in a little bit of hot water when it comes to financial fair play and they're also in the market for more strikers. That has been made blatantly obvious so perhaps they would be interested in a certain John Duran. This season playing 22 games only getting two starts five goals with a rating of 6.5 um, if we go down to his per 90 stats because of course he's not playing that much football you can see it's very very impressive per 90 is at the top of the premier league goal charts and it's a sea of green as well for him in terms of long ball accuracy 100 percent per 90 nearly one successful cross every four games and then look at his defensive stats per 90 he is a premier defensive striker but he's also been getting on the end of many many goals winning our goal of the season award this year and would we want to let him go there's been a lot of chat about him and there's a certain reason why we perhaps might be interested in this swap deal first of all his market value is only 18 million so there's a chance that we would have to give Chelsea money on top if it was a straight swap deal I'm not even gonna lie I'll take it because we are gonna have another striker coming into the club and that is this man it's been confirmed by Unai Emery this week that Cameron Archer will be rejoining Aston Villa from Sheffield United due to a buyback clause we had now they've been relegated this season 29 games 20 starts with four goals and an assist in one of the worst Premier League teams in recent history 
we've all, we were all really hyped about Cameron Archer after the Preston and Middlesbrough loan deals. Um, and a lot of people in the championship rate this guy extremely highly. And is he going to be playing the same role as John Duran, that backup striker to Ollie Watkins, if we're going to go out and get another striker this summer? Then again, it makes that John Duran deal a lot more interesting. We look at his per 90s. They are relatively low, but his total stats, you know, still, again, to get that much green, even in the defensive categories as well, for a team like Sheffield United this season in the Premier League, off of only 1,800 minutes, is impressive. And could he do the job that John Duran would be doing? It's all very interesting. Those are the stats I wanted to bring your attention to, though. Let's have a chat about this deal and whether it could happen. Ultimately, what are my thoughts and opinion? A couple of things on John Duran. One, I think the kid is incredibly talented. He's only 20 years of age and he has displayed that he has all the attributes to be a top striker in Europe, apart from perhaps one, and that would be attitude. It's been long reported that he has a bit of an attitude problem. Even John McGinn in his post-match press conference after Liverpool game said he's a bit nuts and sometimes he's a nightmare to have on your team. Cameron Archer, for me, is the opposite of that. He looks like the ultimate professional. He is a little bit older at 23, but if we're going to sign another striker and have Archer as a backup, I think he can do the same job as John Duran. Cameron Archer is incredibly critical in front of got critical. Is that the right word? I think so. In front of goal, he is uh, he is very critical with the ball at his feet. His finishing is absolutely superb. And again, you can't read too much into his stats this season. It's at Sheffield United who have been long documented this season to be struggling offensively, defensively, playing football and everything else in between. Um, so that, to me, makes this deal even more feasible. Now, Conor Gallagher, don't get me wrong, I think the kid is absolutely insanely good. I think this deal is going to come down to finances. John Duran, with the light tweets that he's been doing, clearly has an interest in Chelsea. His agent was clearly drumming up interest in him in the um, January transfer window of all the links to, I think it was Inter and AC Milan over in Italy. And it just feels like it's inevitable that John Duran isn't going to be playing for Aston Villa next season. In an ideal world, I'd love him to still be playing for us. But if that's where his head is at and if that's where his agent's head is at and there's a chance on the table to get a cut price deal for Gallagher, who again has been linked away from Chelsea this season with the likes of Spurs being interested in him, with Cameron Archer coming in, it makes this deal a little bit more feasible. And I think it is actually one that would be an interesting one to hear what you guys think down in the comments below would i take it personally and this is a massive shout for me i'm gonna say no i really do believe that john duran is going to be one of the elite strikers in europe 20 years of age his physicality is insane his finishing is insane you saw those per 90 stats the kid is absolutely outstanding and i feel like emery would actually be the right coach to develop it he does also fit chelsea's bill though and i think they probably are going to be interested in him um, and it seems like perhaps maybe if his agent's running his uh, Twitter account, then he's drumming up that interest by liking all of those tweets. But I personally would like him to stay at the club. There's another link in another video coming out very shortly to another English centre mid that we can get for free. Conor Gallagher's going to demand a lot of a lot of wages from our FFP bill. And of course, he's going to be expensive. I think we're going to have to be John Duran and money. With Archer coming in, could John Duran even step up into that leading striker role for us next season? That could be a conversation to be had. Maybe we don't have to use that Archer as a backup for him leaving. Maybe it's just a backup in general. Um, but let me know what you guys think down below. I just saw this one circulating today and I thought, mm, it's interesting. I'm going to cover that. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. We're way on the road to 2000 now. I'll see you guys soon. Up the villa. Be nice to everyone. Peace.